Italy again at risk for new infections as Italians go abroad for Easter. Despite the fact that citizens of Italy in the red zone cannot leave their community, they can catch a plane and travel abroad. The green light was given for travel to the Canary Islands, so Italians can gather for Easter there. Tour operators and associations are demanding to know why then no holiday at home in the country? A circular from the Interior Ministry confirmed by responding positively to a question posed by Estoi Confindustria Viaggi, an association that represents over 90% of the tour operating market in Italy, in regard to the possibility of allowing in areas currently subject to restrictions, the movement of travelers who intend to go to a foreign country that is open and usable for tourism. Some tour operators have adopted these so-called COVID-tested quarters a protocol that allows only those who test negative to the molecular swab made at least 72 hours before boarding to travel. Some operators even provide for an economic contribution to carry out the swab or include the cost in the package's price in addition to the cost of a doctor who contacts the tourist before returning. To sum it up, there are safe tourist corridors that guarantee on the one hand the safety of travelers and on the other hand, the restart of an important sector of the economy. Turmoil and confusion. The green light for travel to the Canary Islands sparked protests from Italian hoteliers, represented by Federal Berghi and Confindustria Alberghi, stating that the government has adopted unfair measures for Easter holidays, namely penalizing the categories of Italian hospitality. The protest of tour operators and trade associations, as well as citizens, are amazed at the freedom to travel abroad while hotels and the entire Italian hospitality system have been stopped for months due to the ban on moving from one region to another. The logic of making it possible to authorize trips across the border while at the same time preventing movement in Italy is not registering. People vaccinated or with negative swabs are at low risk of contagion, so this logic must also be applied to trips to Italy, to take advantage of all tourist services including spas, skiing, meetings, congresses, and trade fairs, thundered the president of National Federal Bergi, Bernabo Boca. The president is adamantly feeding the controversy for a sector that is already victim of illogical divisions. Maria Carmela Koleyukovo, vice president of Confindustria, is also protesting and considers the regulation a paradox. She said, the Italian structures are ready to welcome guests in complete safety according to which there is a prejudice against the sector, given that the second homes of the Italians can be reached, but the hotels where monitoring is continuous cannot. The same goes for travel abroad. We are sure that staying in a hotel in Italy can offer similar, if not superior, guarantees. But it appears the die is cast, and the government justifies itself by stating that upon return, a five-day quarantine and buffer are required. The new ordinance signed by the Health Minister Roberto Speranza, states a buffer on departure and return, five-day quarantine, and additional buffer. The rule also applies to all those who enter Italy from the European Union. Similar provisions are in force in other countries, such as Germany and Spain, and have sparked similar controversies. For example, German hoteliers have described the situation as absurd in which thousands of compatriots are able to fly to the Balearics for the Easter holidays, while at home the hotels are closed except for those who travel for work. However, the trade association Federalbergi, which represents interests of hotel companies in Italy, does not like the new quarantine rule, which replies to ANSA through its president Bernabo Boca who said, the patch is worse than the whole. We absolutely did not want to wage war on Italians who travel abroad nor on Italian tour operators and travel agencies of which we have the utmost consideration. Our point of view is if the buffer is valid for going abroad, it must also apply in Italy. Federal Bergi has an agreement with more 2,000 diagnostic centers for swabs in hotels. If it is allowed to get on a plane with a tampon, it is also allowed in the hotel, the association president said. Hashtag rebuilding travel.